humble um, suggestion to pastors and bishops in Ghana um, is that they are young ones who are sincerely struggling and they need help. Um, they don't know their way about. Some need love. And honestly, um, if you really traveled, the people that show you a lot of love when you are um, at work or um, in the, in, um, abroad and all that, is this LGBTQ people? Do you know really? what? Oh yeah, they can. They will, they will show you love. Love friends, eh? Oh no, <laughs> they can show you love. Okay. You know, I mean, the um, discussions that I've had with people who, okay. who work abroad. So for me, here's the thing: I believe that if the pastors and um, bishops really want to help these people, set up counseling offices in your church mm. and let let it come in the news. That I mean, Royal House Chapel, Action Chapel, ICGC. Um, <clears throat> um, Church of Pentecost. Um, what about what about church? We have this office. There are counselors there. Anybody who has issue with LGBTQ, you don't know what to do with your life and all that, and you need somebody who counsel you without judging you. Okay. Walk to this office. There's somebody there willing to help you, and it will amaze you the number of people who will walk into those offices for you to counsel them, take them to deliverance, and then help them out of it. You know, we don't have that, but. Um, if we there are certain laws against it and all that, it's not going to stop it at all. We need to show them love, create room to help them, and I believe if pastors will do this, wow. it will help. What's the highest you've received? Uh, la, 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 <laughs> you know, what's the lowest you've received? Thousand Ghana. Were you appreciated? Oh, the, even a bank of ways to show them out is more than thousand Ghana. Mm. So I went with a band and the church gave me thousand Ghana, so I had to top up. You know, that's when we decided that it was okay. It happened on two or three occasions. That's when we decided, like, you know, let's charge for the part okay. and let's leave emoji as a standard. But that's what a church could offer, I guess. Or you thought they yeah. could have given more? Oh, it's, 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 it's two of the churches were, were big churches. <laughs> you said big by size. You know, by I mean, in, I mean, in terms of the journey they've traveled and the things they've done in the country. Maybe that's all they have. Genuinely, genuinely, that's what they had. We, I mean, we, we are set to win. I actually started as a drama. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I started as a drummer. I had, I had no plans for singing. Really? You know, I was a drummer. And then um, through the drumming, I think one of the Sundays um, um, at the junior service church, the praise and worship leader didn't show up. And the oh, wow. Sunday school church were like, who's going to lead worship days? I was like, ah, this thing I this guy's video, I, I can't do it too. Let me let me give it a try. So I said, oh, let, me lead, so let me try. So out of frustration, they gave me the opportunity. Oh, wow. You know? <laughs> so it wasn't like, you know, I was, okay. you know, they, they had nobody, so they had to take me like that. Yeah. And I, I did, I did, I did okay. You know, so from then I realized that, you know, I had a gift. And one of the teachers was like, you know, you have to keep pushing because I can see you becoming great through this. You know, so I just kept pushing, you know, um, sought support from people who had already gone ahead. And the rest is history. <laughs> Institutions that run the music industry, our, our industry is this lame because institutions have failed to work. Persons who don't understand how to administer administration. Music administration is one of the biggest problems we have in Ghana. Mm. That's how come sometimes people they blame, they, they blame. Nobody say we know we know how the people, we have the people, but not all of them are exposed. Mm. I would I will be on music because Gamro there, they are working. Just that. You can't blame them for everything that is happening. They are doing their part. Hmm. If you are not paid, you are not played, you cannot be paid. Exactly. The system is in place. So, damn road here, we need to go side by side with them until they fully, you know, finish their, their, their networking and then things will get better. Okay. But Musica, hmm. no, there's no escape. See, <laughs> the president of Musica, the vice president, the, the, the interim president, hmm. I don't know where he's still, whether he's still in office or oh, he's, he should, he's he should, hanging, but he should, he's, he's, he's he supposed to go for elections. He, he's. Uh, was, uh, but wait, so, but who, who is. Who are you? No, Mr. Mr. Simmons. Oh, let me go to Uncle Bessa. It's not a matter where I'm for being hiding. Uncle Bessa. Uncle Bessa. Mm. Uncle Bessa. Mm. Yeah. And the way I've seen, I've, 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 I saw a few videos when I heard this matter. I said, ah, why, why is it that when you go on campaign, you talk too much? Well, you see, when you are campaigning, even though you have a way to twist, and convince people because it's called campaign you need to convince sometimes it's good to be on track mm. based on the information where i get mm -hmm. information on paper i don't be saying somebody you spread into my ears if anyone challenge me i'll bring them out ah, so you have evidence. i have you have evidence you know be say they come sit down and talk 
I have, I have evidence, I have, I have videos, I have uh, letters. E. You understand? Letters that are pending in high offices and all that. E. I've, I've got, I've got, I've got hooks. Me, I'm crushing me. Yes. Wow. And it's in their constitution mm. that when you want to make an investment, let me give you a little preamble about the whole matter. Mm. Just touch the face. When you want to make an investment in their constitution, mm. There's supposed to be an approval by the treasurer, the accountants, the president, and then the executive secretary. Four. Four people. This, these four personalities must append their signature before they can, they can withdraw or take money from their coffers for, for any invest, investment on behalf of the, of the uh, association or the, the union. union. But in this case, these three persons I've mentioned their name, they did this without due consultation with the S uh, the executive, you know when someone is called executive secretary, could you, could, could you, you, you saw he had that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. executive sec secretary, not just secretary, executive, executive secretary, it means that the person has some powers. The part this particular one, high. it took me, I think seven months to finish. So the first time I wrote the song, I wrote it in January with, with him, it's the, that's the producer right there. His, his name is Fields. We were in the camp and then we were just making the song. We were, listen, we were listening to a couple of my piano sounds. He introduced me to my piano, by the way. Like, so we were at the rooftop listening to my piano and I was like, you know what, I'd like to try something like that. And then we got downstairs in the studio and the first thing he played was making that beat. And then the, the only thing that came to my mind was, I, yeah, I just want to be here. And then that's the only thing that I had. I left the song. I didn't care. About, I didn't care for it anymore. And I have a practice. And I I just check my laptop like from time to time to see what song I, I didn't finish. Maybe I'll catch a vibe again or something and finish it. Yeah. Then he said to me, he said, "Bro, why are you forgetting the song? Like this song is it's a jam." I'm like, well, "I'll check it out. I, I check it out. I'm like, there might be something there." Then I finished it. Seven months after, and then I thought, "Oh, I I think I need somebody on the song." And who else? David O. Sent to him, he loved it. We linked up in LA, finished the song, shot the video there and there, and it was. And the rest is history now. Yeah. I love you being a musician, but I love you more being a father. I mean, how's that experience? Uh, why? Why is that? Um, I think there's something about how you sort of introduce. You know me so much as a father. Yeah, but a little I see on social media, I mean, it's so inspiring how you're, I mean, you can tell the love you have for your son, which is not, daughter, I'm sorry, which is uh, not surprising, but what would you say fatherhood has taught you? Um, it's taught me um, responsibility, you know, um, yeah, responsibility, and I have a responsibility to, to um, um, look after the queen that I'm raising, you know, um, to do it better than my father did, you know. Um, yeah, so I mean, and uh, I know that I have a responsibility to raise um, a great woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's wrap up your year. How has it been for you, 2021? What would you say? What are some of your highlights? What are some of your low moments? It's my best year yet. Three over three, and all my collaborations, fire. Glory be to God. I'm grateful that I um that everything that I put my hands on this year literally became gold. So I'm grateful. Thank you so much for speaking to us. For having me. So let's talk about your song, Mona Lisa. It's a beautiful song. Uh, some part of the song you spoke it in your dialect, the Nigerian di dialect. Obviously, I'm not Nigerian, but it resonates with me. And I'm wondering how, I mean, how, how do you feel when you go perform at a festival like this and people who do not, who do not understand your language are singing along to your song? I mean, it's the music. Everyone's just connecting with the music. And that's the most important thing about the music. It's not really about, like, understanding exactly um, what's being said, but it's just about like the feeling it gives you. And when you understand, when you appreciate the feeling, you will at least on, like learn to pronounce the words. You might not really understand what's going on. Vissage, did you envisage it was going to be a big sound when you recorded?